Hello campers and parents, my name is Mr. Tyler and today we're going to be doing paper plate dinosaurs. What you'll need for today is a paper plate, some printer paper or colored construction paper if you have it. We're going to be using some paint, a paint brush right here, um, a cup of water for our paint, and then um, either a marker or a sponge. And I'll talk about why you might need um, a marker instead of a sponge or a sponge instead of a marker. Uh, that part's gonna be up to you. So today there's basically three different kinds of levels to this activity and craft. The first would be um, grab a parent or a friend to help you out. And it would start with cutting the paper plate in half. And once you cut the paper plate in half, you'll have more of a 2D dinosaur type deal where you're gonna put two legs, a head and a tail on it. You have intermediate, which um, it's going to be, you're doing this craft all by yourself with no help. And you're kind of going to go ahead and cut it in half, paint it yourself, color it yourself, do everything yourself without help. And then the advanced version is what I'm going to be doing today, which is a three-dimensional version of the same craft. So instead of cutting the paper plate in half, we're going to fold the paper plate and staple it. So if you want to do the advanced portion of today's craft, you also need a stapler. So let's begin and I'll meet you in the overhead view. All right, so your first step to this process is actually going to be going ahead and if you're doing the advanced, folding the paper plate in half. If you're doing the beginner, ask a parent to go ahead and cut it for you. And if you're doing the intermediate, go ahead and cut it yourself, just like that. So after you've done that, you're going to go ahead and begin by painting it. So today I'm using the color green. So we're just going to go ahead and get a good bit of paint there. This is very nice acrylic paint. And then we're going to go ahead and paint the whole thing green. So as you can see, my paper, paper plate is now green. I'm going to set this aside to let it dry. And as it's drying, I'm going to get started on drawing the legs for it. So I need four legs, a tail, and a head. So we're going to start with the legs. And I'm just going to kind of draw leg shapes here just like that now i'm going to use uh, miss lexi's idea in her video which was after i'm going to cut this out i'm going to use this as a stencil to make my other legs and then i'll get on to the tail and the head all right so here are my four legs my paper plate is still drying so i'm going to go ahead and do a big tail and a big head on this guy so for the tail, we're going to make it nice and thin. And this is all freehand. It's not exactly perfect, but I think it, uh, it gets the job done. All right, the tail is done. Now it's time for the head. And again, we're not doing perfect here. We're just doing what we can. That looks great. Go ahead and cut it out. All right, so now that that's figured out, we've got our legs here, we've got our tail and our head. What we're going to go ahead and do is paint those green also just to match our dinosaur. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the final step is going to be adding some spots and going ahead and actually attaching all of the pieces to the dinosaur. So the first is going to be just adding spots. Now you can do this with a sponge or like I'm doing now with a Sharpie. That's up to you. I'm going to attach them. So how I'm going to do it is using uh, the stapler again. You could either do it with the stapler or you could do it with um, some tape. Either way it works. If you're doing 2D, probably uh, tape works best. Um, but since I'm doing 3D, I think stapler might work at least for these parts here. So that's how you do it, the paper plate dinosaur. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next week for Bibbidi Boppity Boo.